I think the fact that we survive bodily death is a scientific fact. It's nothing to do with religion. One day in the summer of 2002, Martha Copeland of Lawrenceville, Georgia, played back a sound recording she'd made earlier that day and heard the voice of her daughter, Kathy, disciplining her dog. That wouldn't have been so unusual, except that six months earlier, Kathy had died in an auto accident. One evening, to my great surprise, with some equipment I was developing at the time, I heard a voice. I was really startled. After the second or third test, I immediately got voices saying, we are the dead, we are alive, we are able to think and to speak. A brief definition of the electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP as we call it, would be the existence of voices of unknown origin which appear in tape recordings particularly, but could also be recorded in other ways. It was the voice of my late father. And he addressed me with my nickname he used when I was a little boy. Here was this voice that I recognized immediately as my mother. The voice then calls the experimenter's name, Konstantin Raudive. This is Konstantin Raudive speaking. I'm as fine as a dead one can be. The experimenter states that in his opinion, man cannot grasp the events after death with his intellect. A voice replies in German, er kann. He can. If somebody came up to me in the street and said, there's nothing paranormal about EVP, I would say, well, I believe in experimental evidence. I've done at least 20 years and hundreds of experiments, and I know that it is a paranormal effect. Now, how many experiments have you done? When the phenomena expanded into pictures, faxes, uh, computer messages, actual phone calls, another term had to be coined, and that became instrumental transcommunication, or ITC, which basically means communication through instruments. International conferences held in the United States and Europe have drawn ITC experimenters, scientists, engineers, psychologists, and medical doctors from around the world who share their experiences, present the results of their research work, and discuss methods for better understanding the nature and meaning of ITC. This is very clear. Oh, check that out. That's totally him. Oh my God. It's objective evidence. So it has changed our lives completely. Science appears to preclude the possibility of an afterlife, but science evolves and there's no knowing what possibilities may be acceptable to a future science. Maybe it's a superstition. Maybe it really happens. The only way to find out is to study the phenomenon and find out whether it happens or not. We should be devoting enormous social resources to this question, not leaving it up to a matter of belief.